how rich is the Gucci family? Has the Gucci family gone broke? In this video, we will be answering the questions, how rich is the Gucci family and has the Gucci family gone broke? If you are curious about the wealth of the Gucci family or you want to know if the world famous Gucci family has gone broke, then this video is for you. Coming up, we will be looking at how rich the Gucci family is and if they are still as rich as ever or they've gone broke. I'll be talking about the net worth of the family and how they spend money. I'll share an insight into the difference between the net worth over the last decade, so you have to watch till the end to get all the juicy details. Before we get right into the video, show your support by liking this video, click the red button that says subscribe, and click on the bell button to get an instant notification whenever we post a new video on YouTube. Let's get right into the video. Gucci has been a household name over decades across nations and continents where the wealthiest of men are draping on apparel labeled Gucci. It is without doubt that Gucci is a name that needs no introduction anywhere in the world. Even keypad autocorrects have acknowledged Gucci as a correct word in English despite its Italian origin. Everyone knows Gucci even though not all can afford it. Now, the Gucci brand started from a family called Gucci. You should not be surprised by that since most of the world's well-known brands originated from family names. Gucci is a family name as much as McDonald is a family name in the United States. We will talk a bit about the history of the Gucci family here so that we can understand where they are coming from and relate to their present situation. The Gucci family has been a wealthy family across many generations. Gucci was founded by Gucci o Gucci in 1921 as a family business. His son, Aldo Gucci, headed the company as the chief director till it became a worldwide corporation. Gucci o opened his first shop in the street of Florence to sell important leather bags and on a smaller scale started making leather products with local craftsmen. Over time, his business grew and he needed more space for artisans in his business. Gucci thrived through the Second World War by making leather works. When leather got too expensive, he improvised with other materials such as cotton and bamboo. He was able to sustain his business during the war by making footwears that soldiers needed. At the end of the World War, he had enough stock to share among his three sons. Many sources state that the downfall of the Gucci family started at this point. With the brothers entitled to their inheritance of the business, each one started to make personal moves with the brand to favor the sector they were heading. Guccio's three sons, Rodolf, Vasco and Aldo, were not united in the family business, hence starting a family feud. Aldo sparked the family feud in 1969 when he proceeded to launch Gucci Boutique on his own without carrying his brothers along. Naturally, the new line was feeding off the main business and the brothers got uncomfortable with the move. They were unable to resolve this amicably and the fight blew out of proportion. As an active member of the family business arrived from when their father was alive, Aldo felt entitled to make such moves with or without the consent of his brothers. His son Paolo Gucci also got involved in the family business and attempted to launch Gucci Plus on his own, while another of Aldo's sons, Giorgio, also attempted to launch Gucci Boutique by himself. Apparently, not only wealth was transferred down the line of the Gucci family, even feud was included in the mix. The family was involved in a lot of scandals back in the 1980s and they were making newspaper headlines frequently. Both the sons and the grandsons of Gucci o Gucci were not capable of moving the business along the line of a common family business as their father or grandfather respectively had started. However, it is worthy of note that despite the family struggle going on within the Gucci family at this point, the business was still thriving well. By 1980, the business was well worth over $400 million. Death and targeted assassinations became a common theme within the Gucci family so much that Hollywood based the movie on the true life of the Gucci family. The movie was titled House of Gucci. The family feud among the members was well expatiated and brought to life on cinema screen. If you are yet to see the movie, this is your cue to go and watch the life drama of the Italian family. Now with the family drama, it is only natural to expect that they would not be able to sustain the business for long, but Gucci is still standing today, and there's barely a dent in the financial status of the business due to its history. How was the company able to scale through the process unscathed? Keep watching. In 1982, the heat of the family struggle was at its peak, therefore, in an attempt to ease it, the company became a publicly traded company. 
People outside the Gucci family were now allowed to buy into the company's shares and own a part of it. To be honest, the family business idea that the founder Gucci or Gucci had when he founded the business came to an end at this point. Other companies started to buy shares in Gucci, but this was not enough to stop the family struggle. When Rudolf Gucci died in 1983, his son Maurizio Gucci took over his share of the business. Maurizio had the majority stake in the business and then launched a full-scale legal war on his father's brother Aldo Gucci. Strive just never ends with the Gucci family. In 1986, three years after Maurizio came into power, Aldo was sentenced to prison over tax evasion, leaving Maurizio in full control of the company. Maurizio, as a young man full of strength and vigor to drive a multi-million dollar business, instead drove the business down the drain. He sold about 47.8% of the business to Investcorp, withholding over 50% to remain the major shareholder of the business. However, he didn't last long as a major shareholder in the company. Being the last of his family in the corporate business world and his lack of patience to grow systematically as his ancestors did with the business, he soon found himself selling the other 50% of the shares he kept to himself to Investcorp. During his tenure as the chief executive officer of the company, Gucci was losing its place as an exclusive luxury brand in the marketplace due to the mass production of its product. Although he was generating enough revenue for the moment, yet he was adversely affecting the future of the company as a luxury brand. Maurizio was also charged with lavish spending of the company's funds. So, due to poor leadership of the company and mismanagement of funds, he was forced to sell his shares to Investcorp and there ended the tenure of the Gucci family in the Gucci company. The company retained the name of the business despite the early owners being out of the business. Now to the question, how rich is the Gucci family now? Let's check it out. The Gucci family is estimated to be worth about $400 million now. The daughters of Maurizio Gucci, Allegra and Alessandra are still holding the banner of the family in the fashion business. Collectively, they are both worth about $400 million. The two girls are the only ones left after the assassination of their father. Maurizio was said to have been killed by his wife after their divorce. Patrizia Reggiani was sentenced to prison when she was found guilty of the murder of her husband. She was prohibited from using the Gucci name. However, she is still entitled to $1.4 million alimony from Gucci. Maurizio's estates were left to his daughters to inherit after his wife was convicted. At this point, do you still think the Gucci family is broke? No. The members of the Gucci family are not broke. They are still quite wealthy with good estate investments. The girls Maurizio left behind when he died are still managing his estate investments well. Even after getting married to their respective spouses, they still have a worth of over $400 million attached to their name, which is a lot of money. Or don't you think? In contrast to popular anticipation that the exit of the Gucci family from handling the Gucci company would have adverse effect over the years, these people have proven themselves capable of sustaining wealth. However, you should know their investments across various sectors of the finance industry does not include the movie House of Gucci. The Gucci family does not own the movie. Rather, the movie was produced by Ridley Scott. The movie is worth about $150 million. The true life story of the Gucci family was produced in the movie. There you have it, the story of the Gucci family, their history and not so memorable exit from the Gucci company. We also asked about how rich the family is till date. Now you know if the family has gone broke or not. When next you have a conversation with your friends, you can tell them how things went wrong with the Gucci family and how they were able to scale through the tough times in their history. Let us know in the comments section what stood out for you in the story and if you were impressed or not with the resilience of the family. We have similar videos for you to enjoy showing on the screen, so if you like the topic, click on one now to enjoy. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to this channel, and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.